So today, um, our class theme is flow and open. And I was just feeling the need for something a little more flowy, a little more easeful, wanting to bring a bit of ease into the body. And um, I just started to play with the sense of opening. Um, I think especially as we get into the rainy winter time here, it's nice to um, keep that sense of openness and keep that sense of fluidity. Um, otherwise, it's so easy just to kind of curl up into a exhausted little ball. <laughs> um, but it, that's how it's like for me anyways. So uh, that sound good? <laughs> so finding yourself on your feet, feet about hip distance apart, toes facing forward. And you can take a moment here and rock your weight forward and back. And then find your weight just behind the back of the ball of the foot. So a little more forward. You can bend and release the knees and then come to a soft micro bend and close your eyes. Breathing deep into your belly. Taking this time to fully arrive present in your body. We can roll the shoulders up towards the ears, down and back, palms flip to face forward, open and ready. And gently stacking the spine tall, lengthening through the back of the neck, softening the face. And here just noticing the flow of breath. Noticing it coming in through the nose, into the lungs, maybe expanding the belly. And then flowing back out again. Maybe you notice your heart beating in your chest. And this heart sending the flow of your circulation out to your extremities with every inhale. And on the exhale, rushing back towards your core. Here you can feel easeful, open. And on the next inhale, we can sweep the arms up towards the sky. Palms come together in prayer. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a nice deep breath into your heart space. And exhale, hands come all the way down to the belly. With every inhale, releasing your belly into your hands. With every exhale, softening, feeling this sense of ease. And from that sense of ease, maybe a deeper opening. And from this place of ease, we can start to connect to our deep core. So as you exhale, contracting navel to spine and lotus lift, drawing up from your pelvic floor. So with every inhale, everything relaxes. On the exhale, squeezing tailbone towards pubic bone, lifting up through your center gate. One more breath here. Eyes can open. We'll inhale, gather up. Exhale, center. Good, pressing the palms together, bend deep into the knees shoulders back and let's start with our hip thrusts right here speed it up one two three four nice so even though you've got that nice strong contraction in through the glutes um it's easeful releasing the belly knees are soft Allowing for a little bit of fluidity through the hips. Beautiful. Yeah. All 
All right, and if you like, we can start to add some arms, inhaling up. And then exhale, just a little float down. Soft and graceful. Yeah, you got it. And let's start to lift the heels up. Start to walk it out. Lovely. All right, we're gonna change this to a one, two, three pattern. A one, two, three, a one, two, three. Or right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. And then just a little snake arm with the arms. Might feel a little funny because you're doing these strong contractions through the glutes and then fluid arms. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, step tap, weight shifts. So we're gonna take your left arm on top of your right. I normally mirror everything except for mudras here. This is a mudra for calming the mind. So you're pressing the forearms against each other, creating a bit of resistance. Shoulders stay down the back and we twist from the waist. Arms stay in front of the heart. Twist comes from the waist. Breathe. Great. Give me a step touch. We're gonna change this to a push step. So you're pushing off the back foot, lifting up through the obliques. I start to pivot a little bit here, lifting off the back foot. Nice. Opposite arm to cheek. Let's do single, single, double. Single, single, two to the right. Single, single two to the left. You got it, undulation here. So don't worry about getting this perfect. We're thinking lifting up through the heart and rolling down through the belly. Make sure this just feels okay on the spine, up through center. And I'm kind of stepping out at the diagonal each time. Up, roll through, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a core workout. This one's called Gita Kick. I'm just dropping my right knee down and the opposite foot kind of coming up into this little kick behind. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Yeah, and maybe you can start to kick it more. I'm not actually very good at this move. <laughs> <laughs> so if you find something that feels a little better than what I'm doing, that's totally fine. Let's do four on each side. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Wrist, um, like a little wrist twist. And this is actually a mudra for releasing anxiety. <laughs> Let's take it from the top. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Take it to a step tap twist. Left arm over right. Breathing. Four, three, single, single, double push step. Two to the right. Last one. Undulation. Up, roll, down, step. Up, roll, down, step. <laughs> Key to kick. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, start to bring my energy up a little. Beautiful. Shake it off. <sighs> Let's bring this to a heel dig. So lots of options for low impact today, but of course, if you wanna get that cardio going, always options to bring it up a little. So keep that foot flexed. We're gonna bring the heel across the body. 
and start to slide from the hips like a string is pulling your hip out to the side as you step. Good, opposite arm, offer. Nice big sweep, palm to the sky. All right, let's take it to a lunge to the right corner and then to the left. So out at the diagonal in front of you, knee and toe always tracks in the same direction. And we're gonna start to let this come into the ribs and snake it so it's a full reach roll back. Nice and fluid. Yeah. Option to step a little deeper, getting deeper into that lunge. Now we're gonna take it to the side Similar to warrior two in yoga, that alignment, so your feet are perpendicular, straight out to the side. Nice. From here, we're gonna do a little shoulder roll. So you can stick with one on each side, or you can do an extra two through center. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's put that together to the corner, snake arm the side shoulder roll and again corner forward and to the side shoulder roll nice okay, double step touch step together step tap and of course you can adjust depending how big your space is left arm on top of right little twist hold on the end double knee Step together, step, twist, knee. Option to shuffle. Keep it going, keep it going. Twist. Again, let that twist happen from the waist. That's it, one more. Hip across, we're gonna go cross back, one, two, three. So stepping across the body, one, two, three. And then start to add your glutes, one, two, three. Hip bump, back, one, two, three. Down and center. And then if you wanna take it up a notch, add more of a hop. Try not to lose that hip. All right, nice and wide here, goddess. Knees and toes 45 degrees. Spine stays tall here. A sweep, pull in. Oh, <laughs> up and in, there it is. Let's hold here, just the ribs side to side. Good, it's okay if the knees start tracking towards the toes too, but try to get some of that into the ribs. I'm gonna reach out, elbow, forearm, wrist, snake arm. Stay low, all through the spine. One, two, three here, fast, fast, slow. Fast, fast, really reach, ooze that last one. Keep those knees out, wide through the inner thigh. <laughs> Come up through center, inhale up. Exhale, turn to the right. So we're in a little lunge to the side. Front knee over the ankle, back knee up and down. Bring it center, switch, inhale up. Exhale to the left and pulse up and down. Keep that front knee bent. Bring it back to center. Inhale up, exhale down. Switch. Four, three, two, bring it up. Heel dig from the top. Four, three, lunge at the diagonal. Reach it to the side shoulders. Again. And side. Shuffle twist, calming the mind. Get ready for that hip push across. 
One, two, one, two, three. Maybe take it up a notch. <laughs> Goddess, we inhale up, exhale down, hold here. One, two, three. Again, inhale up, exhale, hold. Three. Lunge this side and pivot. Pulse, two, three, and switch. And down. Pulse, two, three. Bring it back center. Good. I'm just going to start offering the arms. So I'm doing a step touch. Focus is more on the arms. You can even do a one, two, three with the legs. Get that cardio up a little bit. This is more of a groove move, so there's no wrong way to do this. It's gonna start sending that offering out from your heart to different places in the room. Down to the floor, up to the ceiling, to every wall. Maybe you've got a little plant you wanna say hi to. <laughs> Maybe at the screen to all of our friends. <laughs> Keep reaching long, extending through that arm. <laughs> you can't get this wrong. Yeah, grab a sip of water if you like. <laughs> I love the moments when I see kids pop up on the screen here. <laughs> <That'd be> good. <laughs> Yeah, where are you opening to? Where in your life could use a little bit more flow, a little bit more opening? Send it right there. All right, we're gonna do some new moves here. Apsara stomp. There it is. So I'm starting with the heel dig. That needs to stay soft. And switch out, out. and switch. Now, I'm gonna start to push from the obliques. So rather than the glutes, it's not so much a hip, one, two, three, switch. It's more pressing through the side. I feel this nice opening through the side. Switch, one, two, three. Four, three, in the center, one, two, three. Up, press, out through the side. Switch. Oh, one, two, three. Maybe start to add a little wrist flick. Switch. Oh, one, two, three, seven, six, five, four. Option to take this all the way around. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Oh, one, two, three. Other side. Six. Last one. One, two, three, tap back here. So like you've got a triangle, you're tapping back to that same point between your legs behind you. And I find this is easier. You lean into it. You wanna keep your core nice and strong, like you're planking forward. <laughs> and then same arm as this leg that's tapping back, you're gonna offer forward, reach. Yeah. You can start to give it a little bit more energy. Four, three, great bind to the right, side behind, side together. You got it. Offer out and in. Open. Okay, check it out. We're gonna stay on the right side. Step touch, switch. Side behind, side together. Step touch, step touch. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one for the brain. Add a little push step, up and up, switch. Obliques, side behind, side together. Push and push, don't think about it too much, it'll come. Push and push again. Maybe adding more of a hop on the end there. Up. <laughs> Last one. Vortex shimmy, we're gonna go back to that one, two, three, one, two, three, or right, left, right, left, right, left. Like you're drawing up from the hip, 
and up and out. And this one's called Vortex Shimmy because if you focus on that space between your arms as they come up, it's like everything outside of you disappears. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. See if you can keep those arms fluid. One, two, three, oh, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, up and down here. Yeah, it's some more grounded moves today. I'm gonna do a little sweep. Now make sure those knees stay tracking out towards the toes. So it's just the upper body that's twisting across. <sighs> Hold and pulse, both arms. <sighs> Hips sway down and up to the side, like you're making a U shape with your hips. And then toes forward, hips circle back. So you notice in the mirror, I've got a nice long spine. Hips pushing back, back to her hip sway. So with the sway, you stay tall, just side to side, happy face with the hips. And then hips push back behind, circle behind, leaning forward a little, long through the spine. Good, two of each. Take it back. Notice that pivot with the feet. Toes are out and heels are back or toes are forward. <laughs> Let's add arms. One, other side. Take it back, all through center. Again. And through center. <laughs> Let's take it back to our stomp. Seven, six, five. One, switch, oh, one, two, three, seven. Tap back. Yeah, breathe. Four, three, great bind to the right. Pause, hip push. Great bind. Hip push. Vortex shimmy. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Shakti rise. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Hip sway. Prayer back. <laughs> Hip sway. And back. Good. Let's take it back to that offering groove. You can run, you can do whatever you want with the feet. Just keep offering out from the heart and start to change the directions. Maybe it's to the side, finding all the diagonals. Noticing the infinite amount of places that you have to move from your shoulder girdle, from your heart to your fingertips. <laughs> Beautiful. Grab a sip of water. How are we doing? Give me some sparkle fingers, thumbs up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna loop it together nice and easy. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you any cue. I'm just gonna jump right in. <laughs> so fill the move with your breath. Extending along through the arm and the leg. Four, three, two, lunge. Side. Take it to the side. Let's keep going with this one. One more set. Shuffle to the right. Twist double knee. Nice strong exhale.
hip push across. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, group it. <laughs> Capture a little bit of sunlight, bring it in. So goddess, bring it up. Hold down, fast, fast, slow. I'm gonna do this one with a little vocalization. I flow with ease, open to the seas. I flow with ease, open to the seas. Bring it up to the right. Three, two, one, and center. I don't even know if that one makes sense. It just rhymed. I was thinking flowing like the seas in the ocean. <laughs> Bring it up, inhale up. Exhale, ground. <laughs> Three, two, one. It was working for me. And down. Three, two. Oops, sorry, stomp. Let's take it around. Seven, six, five. Three, two, one. Center. One, two, three for seven. Center switch. Tap back. Offer. <laughs> Same arm as leg. Yeah, and you can actually switch the arm and leg here, but it's good to notice. It's good to notice what you tend towards. Maybe challenge yourself to do something different. Keep it going, keep it going. Maybe down and up here if you want to get a little more into it. Four, three, two, grapevine. Offer, double push. ran into my mirror <laughs> at this moment like oh that big thing's gonna fall onto me <laughs> we're okay we're okay <laughs> shake it up two three oh one two three shock to your eyes permission to feel a little sexy here or awkward that works too however you are is perfect <laughs> I'm often a mix of both <laughs> let's start from our heel dig take it across so notice this one's opposite arm to leg wiring left and right side integrating ready to lunge One, two, three. Shuffle. Hip push across. One, two, one, two, three. Step it wide. Exhale. I flow with ease. Open to the seas. I flow with ease. Open to the seas. Bring it up to the right. Three, two, one. Center. Three, two. Get ready for that stomp all the way around. Seven. Switch. Oh, one, two, three. Tap back. Oh, one, two, three. Same arm. Give it a little more. Four, three, two. 
Great bind. Don't forget that lift through the hip, obliques. Shimmy. Speed this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms do whatever feels right here. Keep it going, keep it going. Breathe. Turbo time all the way. Go, go, go. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Down and up. Hold center. Down and up. Hold center. Hip sway. Opening through the hips, lumbar spine. Take it from the top, heel dig. Option to hop this one. Lunge. Double knee. Good push. Oh, stack. Oh, one, two, three. Let's take this out of the hips and into the chest. One, two, three. Chest lift. One, two, three. Up, back. One, two, three. Prayer release. Four. Slow goddess pulse, bring it up. Stay here, keep it going. Grounded and flowing, open and easeful. Lunge to the right. it up and switch. Four, three, ready to take it around. Seven. You can really get into this. Like you're really pressing out through the heel, out through the hip. <laughs> Tap back. Expanding, reaching through the arms. Four, three, two, good. Give it a little shake off. See a little comment here. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Serena. All right. Um, where are we? What's next? <laughs> Let's go back to this offer. Four, three, just for Denise, we're gonna take a little sachet step. Oh, one, two, three, back step. One, two, three. Nope. <laughs> this is what I get for improvising. Wait, there it is. Up and through. Sachet back step. Up and through. Finding a little bit of fluidity through the arms. A little flick on the end. <laughs> Take it back to our grapevine. Side behind side. Out and out. One more. <laughs> Triple shimmy. Beautiful, find your smile. Little workout for your cheek muscles. <laughs> Take it down. Smiling gives you a little bit more energy. One more.
All right, shake it all out. Give me a nice fast shimmy. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs, everything. Doesn't matter what you look like. Just let it go all the way. Yeah, nice. All right, let's start with Aikita kick. We're gonna cool it down here. Undulation. Up, roll through. Up, roll through. Beautiful. Hip single, single double. One and two. Step tap twist, calming the mind. Four, three, factor one, two, three, snake arm. One, two, three, one, two, three. Singles. Bring it in a little. Hold one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Center, good. Give it a nice big inhale up. And exhale. Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> um, so hopefully you feel nice and easeful, open. Um, we're going to, for our isolation here, we're gonna work on snake arms. There's a lot of different ways to teach snake arms. Uh, in the belly dance world, I am a, be a beginner. Um, I've taken belly dance for many years, but um, you can still be considered a beginner. Um, and so I'm, this, I'm gonna teach you a very particular style. So um, you're gonna think about first this rotation of the arms. So we're gonna take one palm back and one palm forward and just rotate the arms. Notice how that feels like. So that rotation happens from the shoulders to rotate the whole forearm palm up and down. So this is what's happening in the snake arms is you wanna get this rotation happening. So we're gonna start just with the right arm. We're gonna take the palm back. So you're painting the back wall. We're gonna lift the elbow, then bring up the forearm in line with the elbow and then the wrist. Now your wrist is to the side instead of the back, so you flipped. Now we're gonna pull the shoulder blade into the body, like you're sucking your shoulder blade to your spine, and then elbow down, forearm down, wrist down. Elbow, forearm, wrist, shoulder, elbow, forearm, wrist. Painting the back wall and painting the side wall. Let's try the other side. So starting with painting the back wall, we go elbow, forearm, wrist, pull the shoulder blade into the body, shoulder blade, elbow, forearm, wrist. Elbow, forearm, wrist, shoulder, elbow, forearm, wrist. Painting the back wall and painting the side wall. And then we put that together. So we go elbow, forearm, wrist on one side. Now when this side's coming down, the other side's coming up. Shoulder, elbow, both sides. Forearm, wrist, shoulder, elbow, forearm, wrist. Elbow, forearm, wrist. Elbow, forearm, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, forearm, wrist. Shoulder, elbow, forearm, wrist. Keep it going, smooth it out. Painting side and back wall. Beautiful, shake it out. <sighs> Good concentration. I'm gonna inhale up. Exhale, shower. <sighs> Two more breaths. <sighs> Let your breath wash over you. Palms face up, inhale, gather, and exhale, return to the heart. 
take a moment to check in with yourself. And then when you're ready, you can come down to the floor, shoes off, and we'll come down onto our mat. Once you come down to the floor, finding a nice soft breath. Another deep inhale. Nice long exhale. And on your next exhale, you can roll up onto hands and knees. And we'll take the feet through and come to the side. So you can either face the side or if you wanna stay facing the screen, that's fine. I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see me. Um, and from here, just going to start with a tall spine with the hands behind the um, thighs. We're going to start to curl into the low back by drawing the lower belly in and up. So I'm rounding through the low spine, but I'm not collapsing through the low spine. I'm thinking about scooping the belly up and in. And those of you who are in my Pilates class, we're going to do a bit more of figuring this out um, on Thursday. So scooping the belly button in and up. So you should feel like you're working here. You can stay here, breathing into the sides and backs of your ribs. Maybe you can release the arms out. If you want a little more, you can curl back a little more. Breathing here, we're just gonna add some snake arms. So holding that C curve, scooping the belly button in and up, and you're still breathing. But since you're drawing the navel in and up, send more of your breath into the sides and backs of your ribs instead of into your belly. Nice. Maybe you can keep it, take it a little further down. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Grab the back of your knees, roll up, and take the soles of the feet together. You can stay here, or if it feels nice, you can fold forward. I'm just gonna adjust my light here. Good. And if you folded forward, you can bring yourself back up. I'm gonna come into another set of that. Um, this time, and we're gonna do a full part, four part roll back, sorry. Hands behind the legs. So on the downbeat, we're gonna go exhale, roll back. Inhale to hold. Exhale, roll up. Now inhale with a nice tall spine here. Exhale, curl back. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll up. Find a nice tall spine. If you wanna add arms, we'll shoulder roll back. Inhale to prayer. Exhale, offer forward. Inhale, palms down and forward. Roll back. Inhale, prayer. Exhale, offer. Inhale, palms down. Inhale, turn, exhale, offer forward, inhale, palms down, that's it. All the way. Two more. Last one, exhale, roll back, inhale, prayer, Exhale, forward, and inhale, tall, good. Give those knees a little sway side to side to release the hips. And we're gonna roll onto our side. Doesn't matter which side you start with. 
Um, the first option we're gonna take, we're gonna come into a bit of a side plank. We're gonna take the um, elbow underneath the shoulder or you can take the wrist underneath the shoulder. You can always fold the mat over if you need a little extra padding underneath the elbow there. I'm gonna draw the knees back so the knees and the elbow or, in, or hand are in one line. I'm gonna lift up from here. Hit. Nice. Now, if you want a little more, you can extend that top leg up. Maybe we extend the top arm. I'm gonna flex that top foot. Option to reach the heel up, so a slight rotation in through the leg, and we're gonna pulse up and down. Keep the hips stacked, stay lifted through the lower obliques. If you wanna add a snake arm, you can lift the arm at the same time. It doesn't have to be too technical. Up and down, up and down. Four, three, two, one. Lower down, knees slowly. Bend the knees, take that bottom arm. Just a little side sweep to release. And we let it go. Let's come over to the other side. Same thing, on the wrist or the elbow. Right underneath the shoulder, knees draw back to align with that elbow. And we're gonna lift up from there. First, find the alignment here. And for some of you, you might just stay here and hold and that's Enough, that's great. If you want, you can stay and hold with that top leg extended. Maybe you lift the top arm. Third option to add the leg lift, rotate the leg in from the hip, heel lifting to the sky. So we're lifting more from the back of the leg instead of the thighs, working into the glutes. Option to do a little snake arm up. <laughs> Add a little bit of flow to our side plank here. Yeah, nice, looking good. Last one. And release, bend the knees, bottom arm, just a little sweep up and over. And release. We're gonna come all the way down to our belly. Take your elbows under your shoulders again here and draw your heart forward just to release the belly. Um, and then check out what I'm doing while you're in this position. I'm gonna come down to the floor, press the tops of the feet in the mat. I'm gonna inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, I'm gonna bring head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. For some of you, this might be enough. Maybe you float the arms. If you want a little more, we're gonna offer the palms forward, palms face up, and exhale around and back. Now notice here, I'm not dropping down and lifting up. I'm staying pretty lifted the whole time. The arms are just a bit of fancy choreography and I'm keeping the tops of my feet pressed into the mat. So let's do this together if you haven't already started. Hands underneath the shoulders, long spine. Inhale, lengthen, toes press into the top of the mat. Exhale, shoulder blades down the back. Keep the back of the neck long so you're looking towards the floor. Maybe you float the palms up. Maybe you can reach the arms forward. And we'll swim. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back. Inhale, lengthen and offer. Exhale, back. Three more. You can stay here if you want to add on. Option to lift the toes off the floor. Point the toes and lengthen out the toes so you're uh, reaching long with the legs, thinking more length behind you rather than up to the sky. They don't have to come up very high. Keep breathing in and out. Last set. Good. Hands back underneath the shoulders. Release the toes down. You can come down to the floor. Um, hands underneath the forehead and give your hips a little shake side to side here. I'm gonna press up through center. Sit your hips back into a bit of um, a child's pose here. And we're gonna end our core sequence here with plank, which I know is not everybody's favorite, but <laughs> we're gonna do it anyways. Um, shoulders over the wrists here, or if you have any wrist issues, you can take this down to the elbows. 
from your knees to the crown of your head, you want one nice long line, lifting the belly up and in. You wanna take this up a notch, lift up the knees and reach out the heels. Lift through your belly, draw your hips towards your bottom ribs and lengthen the crown of your head forward by lengthening the back of your neck long. Remember to breathe. Drop the knees, reach the hips back, child's pose. Take a nice deep breath into your belly. And then you can roll it up onto your knees and I'll come to seated here. Beautiful. So we're gonna take our knees out to the right. Um, if you can get your right foot uh, foot into your inner thigh, that's great. Um, it's okay if you have a bit more space. And then from here, sitting tall, and you may need to sit, um, if you want, you can put a blocker pillow underneath your seat here. I'm gonna take the left hand across the body to the knee on that side. The right hand reaches back behind you, fingertips to the floor. On your inhale, lift up to lengthen through the spine. And then on the exhale, gentle twist, looking over your back right shoulder. Finding a nice, slow, long breath here. And then gently spiral back to center. Taking your left hand down to the side, or maybe you grab um, a thigh if you need some support. And then we're gonna bring the right arm up and over away from the knees, reaching into the side body. And if it feels nice, you can do a few wrist circles in either direction here. More breath, exhale down. We're gonna sweep that arm all the way to the floor, come down onto the elbow, reach the back leg back, and you may need to readjust this front leg and grab the top ankle. Pressing your hips forward, so we're stretching into the quads here. And if you need a little more, you do have the option of dropping the leg down and sitting back but um, that won't be for everybody. So just listen to your own body. Deep breath in, long breath out. If you're sitting back, you can come back up to the side and then we'll sweep that top leg around, come up to seated and then hug the right leg in, or this is your left leg, sorry, if you're following, mirroring me. You do have the option of releasing that bottom leg. Giving it a hug here. And second option is to start to stack the knees. So the feet flex a little. Um, and so if you're, I'm facing the knee, I'm more out to the angle here. Um, and it's okay if the knees don't totally come down and it's fine just to stay up here. And you can sit here in cow face pose with your arms to the side. Or if it feels good, you could also lean forward, deepening the stretch into the outer hips and maybe come down over the legs to the floor. Yeah, beautiful. Take your breath in here. Exhale to roll up. And then release the legs, give them a shake. And get to complete that sequence on the other side. So we're gonna bend the knees to the left, your left. And then take your right hand across to the knee, opposite hand behind you. On your inhale, lift tall, 
On the exhale, twist, looking over your back shoulder. With every inhale, maybe find a little more length, rooting the tail down, lengthening through the crown. With every exhale, softening into your twist. As you feel ready, you can unwind and take the right hand to the side, lift arm, reaches up and over, a little side bend. Option to release the wrist a few times in each direction. And sweeping back over down to your elbow Readjusting the legs as you need to, to grab the top ankle and press the hips forward. Or if you have more spaciousness and need a little more, maybe you drop back and come onto the back arm. Staying present with your breath here. If you've dropped back, you can come onto the side and then sweep that top leg around and over and give it a hug into the chest. Bit of a fancy move there, and it's okay if you extend the bottom leg. First option here, just hugging that leg in, opening through the outer hip, or you could look at trying to stack the knees, keep both your feet flexed. The knee there sitting tall here, maybe leaning forward maybe coming down towards the ground. Beautiful. Wherever you are on your next exhale, let something go. Maybe you just release the tension between your eyebrows by 5%. Just let something small go here. And then slowly make your way up. Shake out the legs. And come back to a comfortable seat position. So we'll end here with this mudra, uh, which is for releasing anxiety. So it's just a little twist of the wrist and you can have them at whatever height feels best, as fast or as slow as you like. I invite you to close the eyes. And see if you can do this movement from a place of ease if you were shaking off your outer skin. <sighs> Breathing deep into your belly. Good, inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale, returning to prayer. Taking a few breaths here with the hands at the heart. Feeling yourself as easeful and open. Thanks so much for sharing in some movement today. Namaste.